Right, here we have the Abbey GT212 1981. Uh, we've had it for three years and I've repainted it because it was a bit grim the paint. Sanded down, painted with Tecaloid coach paint. Uh, porch awning, yada yada. And there's a cold water hookup at the back. And a waste bucket. I had to seal a few of the seams, but otherwise it's in pretty good nick when I got it. I may pause this video at points as um, I can only do things one handed so much. And there's the awning. There, wheel lock, steps, bin that comes inside the room. I've changed it all to LED, so all lights work. Oops, and there, LED there. Um, little reading lights in the corner. Uh, the solar panel that I added uh, with the oops controller box. You can see it's actually taking. <coughs> Pardon me, taking power at the moment to the battery. Even though it's quite grey outside. Uh, we added, I added two USB ports here. That run straight off the battery. Uh, cupboards. That's a bit blurred. There is an old lamp there, but I've never used that because it's um, a gas one and I just didn't fancy it and the thingy on the top doesn't look very well. So that's turned off there. Oops, just there. That's always turned off. Uh, curtains were added, my wife made those and we painted all the walls white because the wallpaper was a bit grim. There's a few, well there was a wet patch here and I put some plastic, uh, white plastic sticky tape over it and as you can see that's never had a leak since we owned it. Uh, there's another cupboard here. And then there's a drinks cabinet. Obviously the bottles don't come with it. Uh, we've got a, there's a heater down here that works I'll show you that in a second I'll pause now actually I'll pause now so as you can see that's the burner going we've never really used this because we've always had plug-ins so but hence that comes with the the little electric heater there let's turn that off again that's controlled by a therm a room thermostat here I don't know if you can see the numbers on that and that just spins around to turn the thermostat down. So onto the wardrobe. We've got a wardrobe here. Oh, I probably can't see that very well. One, two, three shelves, and there is some storage space underneath. And then the bathroom. The wall in here is a little bit soft, but nothing desperate. And <clears throat> it's got signs of water damage, but since we've had it, it's been clear. Hence, I sealed the roof. Uh, there's a second table there for adding a bigger table to add to the, the front room when you're having more people for a meal. There's a porta potty there. Spare wheel. Right. Oh, and the light, there's a light in there as well. I should have put that on first, shouldn't I? All changed to LED with the solar panel and all the rest of it.
Right, we'll come to the kitchen now. So the kitchen area comprises an oven, a hob, fridge that works on 12 volts, 240 and electric, um, and gas, sorry. And there's a sink underneath there, um, another cupboard above, fire blanket, timer. Right, I'll unwrap all of this now. You can see what it looks like when it's open. Okay, so this is the kitchen area. We have the fridge with a small freezer compartment. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but the gas is on at the minute. There you go. And that's also got 12 volt and 240 if it'll focus. Etc. A little bit of rust on the white round there, that could do with painting. Uh, sink area. There's a running cold water. Put your foot on that. And you get running water. And then there's a double hob. Grill. And oven. I'll light those now so you can see them. Right, so there's the two hobs burning. And you turn them off. And then under there, there's a grill burning away happily. Oh, there is a, there is a grill pan as well. Let me turn that one off as well. And then there's the oven. And we'll turn that one off. And there's a light, LED light again, above the kitchen area. Um, also, we have an extractor fan. Let me turn this here to open the flap. Oops, that there to open the flap. And then you can either run setting one. Hopefully you can hear that. Or setting two. The sunroof thing was removed before I got it, and it's never leaked, so I put some Kingspan in there and plated over it with a bit of plastic. But as you can see, no, no marks around it. All in good shape. Uh, we also have a gas leak alarm there. We have a fire extinguisher and a carbon monoxide alarm. So it's all pretty good. I'll just give you one quick view around the job. Clock comes with it and the thermometer there. Uh, 25 past 8 and the thermometer says it's 24 degrees in here. Uh, one thing I forgot, back to the living area. Uh, these fold up and there's loads of space underneath and the big table goes in the centre of there and then you can put these two sideways and make up a double bed. What else do we do? I put a new carpet down. Um, otherwise pretty much as it was. Right, so I've taken the seat off, that's parked there by the bathroom. And these are the, this is the storage underneath. And that's the same on both sides. Um, as you can see, there's a little 12 volt hoover. There's one mirror, and there's the hookup lead for the 240. Oh yeah, and there is one uh, cigarette lighter outlet, 12 volt port there if you want to run any blowing up machines or anything else like that. Yeah, one thing I forgot to show, right, let's get back outside. In the bonnet here, there's a gas bottle, there's a bit of gas in it, not very much and your leisure battery. I think you can see in there that the bubble is green. I don't know, anyway it is. So that's a good good condition battery. Apart from that, my dad changed the, I mean, sorry, my father-in-law changed the brake pads and the, uh, the suspension part in here so it's nice and firm again. 
it doesn't kick against you if you break. I changed the jockey wheel as well, new jockey wheel. And there's pads on every corner. And that will do, I think.